Parker? Aye. 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 Okay, uh, Monty, come on up. Hello. <coughs> okay, uh, since we saw you last, nothing's happened. Nothing's changed. I mean, the last time you were here, you said that you are going to come in and give something to Jenna, and you never did. Weren't you supposed to give Jenna what? It was supposed to be faxed. She said she wanted it faxed. Oh, okay. I called the... The attorney and uh, she directed me to the person that handled the sale, and they said that they were going to fax a deed. They call it over to her. I never received anything. Also, I was in contact with the Milwaukee County Treasurer's Office today, and they are not in compliance with their payment plan. It has not been. I missed last several month. Several months, actually, they agreed to extend it for them. They tied a discussion back in October, and they never signed anything yeah, well, to extend it. So well, a violation I, of the plan. I right talked now. to them, and they told me that I should just. Uh, they get in touch with them the end of uh, December because I got we discuss a payment, a lump sum payment with them. That's not what the information she was conveyed to me at all today. Okay, that yeah, was today. That's you what talked to her. That's yes. what they told me. Okay. Because um, I got a nice chunk coming here. <coughs> uh, do you have Do you have the information that? Uh, I, I called attorney? that I called that attorney and uh, he said they were going to fax it over to her. And so it's but but you didn't you didn't uh, you should have checked up on it and everything. Um, but anyway, the, the attorney's name that I didn't have last week because my brother's attorney is Angela Cornelis, and they didn't do anything yet. They haven't released anything. Uh, I got a letter from them someplace that they're going to. Sign it all off, but they didn't do it yet. They didn't get in contact with me. So, and I'm expecting everything by the 14th or the 20th <coughs> of this coming month. And they told me, and I called that, and I did call down there at the at the county, and they said that I should get back in touch with them at the. It was supposed to be around the 14th or the 20th. I'm supposed to receive a, a large check so okay we already have a summons a complaint um i i think we would do is have yes. to either okay. move to, uh, do you have any dispute that you are not um let's find the right one this time right here that you have not paid the real estate taxes in full no i haven't paid them in full I thought you guys uh, told me last, uh, not last meeting, the meeting before that we were going to, uh, you were going to extend it to uh, June or something. And I think uh, Marty was the one that uh, kind of pushed that forward or something because you No, said I said that you should make sure you're current if you want to sell your business to someone else in the right. license stage and, with the property. And uh, I said I should have by the end of December or the middle of December. And you said, well, we could extend it till June. But I, no, I, I said it should that. be. But so, anyway, here's. Uh, so, the, the, the second, the process would be that we set up a, uh, uh, a hearing to take away the license, right? We'd have to set a hearing and everything. Well, it depends. If they don't, they're not disagreeing with anything, so there's really nothing you can test. You can take their fact that they agree that it's true, and you have to you can decide then what you would like to do with their license. Well, you said you had you had somebody interested in buying it. Oh, uh, there's yeah, there's, there's somebody. A guy coming to me well, uh, there's months. been several people. Right. But I have a chunk coming uh, uh, by the middle of this coming month. But perhaps what I recommend what you do with Scardinas is that you give them a certain deadline to pay off the taxes by a certain date, and then if they don't, you do an amended findings or excuse me, a findings of fact, and just say that if not, then their license has been revoked. Or okay. What and what are you re recommending for a date? I mean, uh, right. by the end of the year, or you can pick something, whatever. It is, that's up to you. Let's pick December twentieth. He said 14th or 20th? Well, whatever this comes. He, uh, December 20th. It says, says here. Well, we wouldn't act probably before we meet the first meeting in January anyway. And you know how, honestly, you know how it is with Christmas and New right. Year's. We're going to have all this, all the lawyer was on vacation, 
and Wednesdays and Thursdays was the holidays. Right. So you get a grace period. So you you're, so <laughs> so you're saying by the twentieth you should this thing should be all done. Well, they claim they're sent, uh, this should all be sent here by the fourteenth of December. And uh, I talked to the people down at the county, and they said I should get in touch with them <coughs> sometime in that period when the, when this comes. So um, give them till the next. Council meeting, well, and if the fifteenth, no, no, not to, not the fifteenth. No. I mean, to, the first the council meeting in January. Right, first council meeting in January. We give you that. If you don't have it, we're going to move to. That's going to be our drop dead deadline. So, okay. Do you want well, me like to I do said, it? they're supposed to be coming. The findings and recommendations. Put it on the agenda for the sixteenth, and then you vote on it with the deadline that the taxes have to be paid in full by the next council meeting date in the January. Or first council meeting. First in council meeting in January. Yes. Okay, 16th, then I will yeah. do that. Okay. So. Uh, they, they don't have to appear on the 16th, do they? Um, no, they'll no. just be sent a copy of the findings and recommendation, right. but I think you, you need to formally vote on it before I can actually go ahead and do that, if that's okay. Okay. So do I have a motion to? I'll, I'll move that we findings and put the findings and recommendations on for the 16th. Well, I think what you need to do is make sure you, they've ex accepted, they admitted the, they're in violation and they have not paid their taxes, so you have to decide what you want to do with their license, if you want to revoke, suspend, or the non-renewal. That's what you have to do first, and then give them them based on those condition conditions based on the findings of fact so what is it well it's, what's the motion just you're making the motion to, if you want to move to revoke their license based right. on the failure okay i'll make that motion okay. and i'll second okay, is there any further discussion all in favor aye, aye. anybody opposed okay you got instructions and the reality and is like it really it take, be, we'll, yeah. won't take action just, just give uh, the first you, meeting no, January. I'd be on the phone with that lawyer saying I got a deadline. So, uh, all these things, item number forty-two, and all these, we're just going to hold all these then. Um, yes, we'll d hold them then, just so I can do the findings and recommendations based on that. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, bye -bye. Good luck. I'll be in touch with you. Okay. Then we have uh, <laughs> Dale Crispon. Crispon. No. Uh, now you're going to be taking over, let's see, what's it called, Stars or something? O'Reilly's. O'Reilly's. Oh, you're on the other yeah. side of the street. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's right. No, yeah. That's right. It says 01. Well, he didn't have it very long. Okay. Well, um, it's been up for sale since January, so. Mr. Chair? Well, okay. Hold on, wait, wait. Mr. Christbaum, you have experience in the business? Uh, I have no experience owning a tavern. No, sir. I do have uh, 14 years of uh, running a company management experience. Okay. Uh, my wife is uh, well, uh, the experienced bartender okay. in the and family. So she's going to be kind of the de facto manager? She will be. Okay. And where did you work? Um, well, I've had a couple different places. Um, one was the Hobnob. And the other one was Packard Inn out in Cudahy. Okay, was the Hobnob down on, I'm thinking Knob Hill. Where was the Hobnob? Um, down on Howard. Okay. <laughs> Not familiar with that one. Yeah. Um, the, I guess, I mean, the point is that we ex we're going to give you a little lecture that we, and then this is probably good for everybody else in here who's looking for a bartending license, is we expect our bars to be partners with the police when there's a problem. Um, if there's an issue, certainly any kind of violence or anything like that, call the police immediately. Um, and when the police come, we expect your, you or your staff, whoever's there, to be helpful and say, that's him, uh, the license plate is, he was wearing this, not, oh, I didn't see anything, okay? Um, you, there will also be instances when the police send people in not of legal age to drink to do a sting operation, expect you to card everybody, you're familiar with the rules of beverage yes. alcohol service. You know, you can't go to the pick and save and buy booze. You know that, okay? You licensed bartender on the premises yes. at all times. You don't need a license to bartend, but the, but the person working needs to be under their direct supervision. Right. That doesn't mean upstairs. Is, this, is the second floor built out yet? It is, mm -hmm. uh, and it's also leased out and rented for the year. So. Okay, so you are bought the property? Or? We're buying the entire property, yes. And, and are you going to live there too, or no. are you going to have a tenant there? Okay. There so, is a tenant there. Okay. Um, the, uh, again, our police reports, you know, my bane is, well, there's two things. 
when someone presents themselves at the hospital or at the police department saying, I was at such and such bar and something bad happened to me and I got no assistance from the staff whatsoever. You know, you're supposed to be watching out for your customers, mm -hmm. okay? Um, also, when the police show up and everybody's drunk, including the bartender. Are you going to have a beverage alcohol policy for your staff? There is no drinking if you're working. When you're bartending, no Period. drinking. I like to hear that, you know. Um, I think that's maybe all I have for now. Oh, one thing uh, on your maybe, application. Yes, sir. You know the city's not picking up your garbage. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I know that. Okay. Because <laughs> you had it on your. Kind of went with uh, AKO's uh, application. It doesn't look right, but let's put a little yeah. in for now. But yeah, we're in the middle of that right okay. now. So. Okay. Nothing else. That's all I had. Can I, I don't know. Sorry. Do I have a recommendation? I move for approval. I'll second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Grand Aye. opening. Aye. Aye. Grand opening day. Uh, January twenty fourth. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Good luck. Okay. Good luck. Thanks, Thank you. Okay. We'll go, wait. Now it goes to the council. You can get up. It goes to the council yeah. tonight. Please. And then um, uh, it'll be available after ten o'clock tomorrow. After ten fifteen. Well, um, this would be a. Oh. Need to satisfy all the other. Yeah, you have all those inspections yeah. you have to go through yet. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So those are all set now for January sixth. Uh, all the building inspection Bedroom, and everything for health, the plumbing, fire, and everything. All of yes. Those. Okay. So we're all set. Yeah. Good luck. Thank Good you, luck. gentlemen. Okay. Rafael Quintero. Quintero. Okay. Okay. So you're going to be the next one to try that location. Yes. Uh, I wish you luck. It is. You, you heard what Alderman Wagle had said. Yeah. And see, so you you live, you know, right in the residential neighborhood there with everybody outside. Got to make sure your neighbors are always kept happy. Oh yeah. You know, when the people go outside to smoke, they got to keep the noise down. Yep. You know, and and uh, like you said with the cars and everything, and so, and uh, it, it's gonna be called Riders Dive. I was actually wondering if it's possible if I could change that name. You know, that was kind of something that was. But that's a joint just, change it to. No. Just uh, <laughs> something I had to come up with off the top of my head. I'd like to change it into a. Uh, um, uh, sorry, okay. I just I went blank. Um, what? Uh, okay. Tailgaters. What's that? Tailgaters. That's it. Tailgaters. That's it. <laughs> Tailgator Sports. He gets an assist. <laughs> yeah. I just kind of. Okay. Uh, okay. You want to write that down and change everything on here? Sure, if you want to approve it without him writing a formal communication. I don't know. Do we need a formal communication? Write it. Probably. Can you just type up a letter? Sure. Send just that type in. a letter and get it in. When you come pick up the license, you can, you can, or, or somewhere along the line, get it to the clerk's office. But so it doesn't hold things up. You know, we will vote on it as amended uh, on tonight's agenda. So, Mr. Chair. Uh, all in one. Do you have and what experience do you have in the bar business? I've been uh, I've been a bartender for the past ten and a half, almost eleven years. And now. where have you, what kind of places have you worked? Uh, I've worked uh, Bunko Buns, Victoria's. They both own the same mm -hmm. place. Yeah. Uh, I started off in Franklin at uh, the Root River Center, Bayview Bowling Bowl. Elliott's Bar. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I actually started off as a as a pin center basically, and I just kind of got into it from there. And <laughs> been doing it ever since full time. Okay. Anybody else have, any, have anything? Do I have a motion? Move approval. Second. Okay, uh, approval as amended. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Willie Johnson, Jr. Okay, this is the second time. Move for denial based on two non appearances. Second. Now, if he shows up, we can take this back up at recess in case he walks in late, right? And we do that. Yeah. Or we can just do it before we yeah. leave, too. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Angela Griffith. Griffith. Okay. Is that a new application? Uh, and where are you going to be working? Or? Sophia's restaurant. Oh, okay. Right here. 
Oh, yeah. okay. Where I'm drawing a blank. Where's Sophia? Okay, thank you. Okay, Mr. Chair. Well, then we're we gonna walk to work. Yes. Okay. I, not a long walk, I guess. But. No, it's about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, you had, you had a rough high school mm -hmm. times, yeah. but hopefully that's behind you. Yeah, it is. Okay, so uh, I have a motion. I move for approval, Mr. Chair. I'll second it. Okay. Any further discussion, Mr. Chair? All in favor. I guess I I have I guess I have a concern about this weapons charge. I had a knife on school property. Yeah. What kind of knife? It was just a switch knife. Just a switch knife. A pocket yeah, like knife. A, well, yeah, it was a pocket knife. Just open. And you were this wasn't like it involved wasn't. in a fight or a threat yeah. or anything. No. I just how, had it on my person. And how did they come to find it? I was in the bathroom and my purse fell out. So. And somebody else saw it and said? The teacher was in there. Said, Angela's got a knife. Well, okay. the teacher was in there. teacher so was in there. She saw yeah. it and fall out of my bag. And, and then there's also a drug paraphernalia. It says drug paraphernalia and tobacco products. What, what was it? I had cigarettes and a pipe. Like a marijuana pipe with resin? Yeah. And what they do to you for that? What was the, what was I was the in the first offenders program. Okay. And I did drug therapy and mentoring. I did mentoring. And I had a personal mentor. Okay. And so you kept your nose clean, so that's kind of like yes, expunged or whatever. Not yeah. Expunged. It's still in your. It's still on your record. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Good luck. Shamshir, Rwanda? Rwanda. Rwanda. What do you mean, sir? You should know how to say that. Really. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now you're going to be working over here at uh, Ms. Dell's liquor? Yes. Okay, uh, this is a new application. You haven't worked in the city of West Dallas before? No. Um, Mr. Chair? Oh, my God. I, did everybody see the letter? Yes. Got, saw it. Um, I did get a phone call from Mr. Boyle, because if you remember, the letter was right. actually not addressed to us. It was addressed to some bank or yeah, something. I, and yeah. and uh, he, did, he did verify that he did indeed write that letter and did make a personal statement regarding Mr. Rondawa's honesty and integrity. That being said, um, I have a real problem with this record. Um, two OWIs and, uh, and the reckless homicide, regardless of what the letter says and all that, um, I'm going to move for denial based on the record. I'll second that. OK, further discussion? It just, I don't know all the cases, but there is, you know, if you just have the two OWIs, it's, it's bad enough, but. Uh, Those right? were way back uh, when I never knew that these are serious. Uh, Pardon me? These were way back, and I don't even remember when were they. Yeah. yeah. One twelve years. Two oh, oh two and eight nine nineteen eighty nine. So is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Sir. So denied. Denied, okay. Thank you. Aaron Bartz. Bart Aaron Bartz. Bartz. How did I do? Bartz. Bartz. Bartz? Bartz? Yeah. I got it right. Well, after she said it, you got it. No, right. I said it before she was coming out. Oh, come on. <laughs> what is this? Okay, this is a, uh, another new application. Uh, okay. Two places. Ambitious. Uh, I've had a license before and I let it lapse. Okay. And uh, let's see, it's got the one OWI. 
Mr. Your, Chair. Did your employers know that about the OWI? Okay. All in wagon. Yeah. Aaron, I, our concern is that you have one OWI. Correct. And again, you so at least on that occasion, you made some bad choices for Correct. yourself. And we're going to be expecting you to make good choices for you and your customers Absolutely. going forward. I have bartended for the last probably 18 years. I took like a year off. And then, mm -hmm. um, but I met Paul Budiak and he asked me to work over for him. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm coming back for another license. Okay. Any uh, further discussion? Do I have a, what, do I have a motion? Move uh, approval. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Douglas Ross. How y'all doing? I'm okay. You know why you're here? Yes, I do. Uh, this is mother. <laughs> when I read that, when I read that police report, I thought, "What the hell were you thinking?" I mean, we want everybody to cooperate. It, it, Reading that, it seems like you were making the entire situation worse. Uh, I mean, the police were there because they got a call about the noise. They were just coming and doing their job, and you didn't help them at all. Matter of fact, one of the bikers actually seems like in the report that they were helping more than you were. We don't want to see this. You heard what uh, Owen Wago said at the beginning. We tell everybody cooperate a hundred percent with the police, and you weren't doing that. Now. You, you run a relatively good establishment. We don't get a lot of complaints on you. They do park the motorcycles all the time in that little area. Like you, well, I'm going to get, get them a sign off, and so, put it on up you know, that so that I wouldn't solve that problem. Uh, who's going to put up a sign? I was going to see if I could put it where that long way sign is and come and ask you all yeah. so that I could put it there so that nobody parks there anymore. Okay, well, it, you can talk to the uh, public works on that. All right. But, uh, uh, but it's just that, you know, like I said, we just want you to cooperate with the police. Uh, can I make sure. my statement? Go ahead. He has a whole statement. It says, as a business owner in the city of West Dallas for over 13 years, I'd like to first apologize for being called in front of you all for the incident that occurred on Saturday, 1 November. I have the utmost respect for anyone who is in law enforcement, and I have numerous friends who are in law enforcement. Okay? If the West Dallas Police Department feels that I was disrespectful or uh, resistance to their presence, Either inside or outside of my building, I would once again, I want to apologize for that. Okay. They have always been welcomed in my establishment, whether they're in uniform or if they're not in uniform. I, I was happy when they had your patrols walking around and they would come on in. I, I like seeing them around. It cuts out a lot of the problems and keeps the idiots away. I have always taken pride in, in being a member of this community and in my establishment. I, I am an ex drill sergeant and I've worked with West Point prep cadets. I was an instructor for over eight years. I ran around at 3,700 uh, reserve officer training cadets through a hand grenade and claymore course, and that was in a month's time. I'm ex 82nd Airborne, and I, 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 you know, I'm military. So I, I once again I apologize because this is how I come across. I come across overbearing at times, and I and I know that it's taken me a lot of years to realize that. So, but I will apologize for that. Uh, and if you really don't know me, that's, I know how I come across, and I was not trying to be any way at all disrespectful to the police at all, you know, so. Okay, and, that, and that's why you're here. And I just wanted so. to, you know, make sure that that was clarified, because I have no problems with the police whatsoever, you know. There's no, there's enough of them that do come in, and they know me, and I always thought I had a good rapport with them, and I want to have a good rapport with the West Dallas Police Department. I don't want to have problems with them. And, they, and like I said, they are welcome at any time to come in my establishment. I don't care. I am there. I'm married to my building. And I have a licensed bartender if I am not there. I'm not going to jeopardize my building or my livelihood for something stupid like not having a licensed bartender there because I know better. So that's okay. what I want to kind of say on my behalf. Or, okay. And that was about it that I have to say. Okay. Does anybody else have anything? <laughs> okay. Any motion to place on file? So moved. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. Chair, that was huh? going to, uh, yeah, when that happened, uh, Mr. Ross uh, made contact, so uh, so I didn't go see him. He explained the situation. I, 
and again, was for reasons of uh, some of the activities that I felt the police, I think that they're within the, uh, the laws, I think, to follow some of the uh, calls or uh, the questions of the uh, Camaro, which was parked across the street, you know, which, you know, they were doing some investigations, so it's not really any problem. So, so Mr. Ross, he just, uh, he felt what well, net, nothing ever happened to my establishment. Mm -hmm. That's why he felt kind of uh, unstable, you know, so. Okay, well, the whole, the whole purpose for calling here is to let, us, let you know how we really feel about this, and uh, you've satisfied us, so. Well, I apologize, again, you so. know, like I said, that, that, that it's even come, come to this, you know, like I said, I've always had a good rapport with the city of West Dallas, right. too. The mayor's been in and had my fish fry, gave me a good write-up, which I was happy about, you know. <laughs> he put it on his Facebook, I was happy. You know, Plus, he said I he liked graduated it. from Central High in West Dallas, so if he's a naughty boy, Okay. <laughs> Just call me, and we'll take okay. care of it. Okay. All right, well, thank ready, you. We already voted on this. All right, okay. thank you. Thanks. Thanks. See you in 13 years. Well, <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see you sooner. Come down and have fish fry. <laughs> Lindsay Ann Guillermo. 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 She called. She won't be able to attend. Oh, sorry. It's okay. You only put on a break. Well, how am I supposed to see him? I'll, uh, use a <laughs> I'll use a brighter color next time. Yeah. Speaking of the drug, have we, have we ordered in Hector at all? Yes. Have, okay. Yeah, that's that's Hector has a license? Yeah. Yeah. Does this put me at a bartending license? license? Yeah. Is Hector here? I, don't, I didn't see him. Is he on the agenda? Oh. No. Uh, no. The police report is. Okay. I, I did send him a letter to appear oh, with that okay. particular police report. Yeah. Yeah. So Hector was ordered to be, be here tonight also? Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much for coming. Um, did, she, did she know why she was going to be supposed to be here? She is actually, she told me she's working out of town and she won't be back until Christmas. Um, the letter I sent to her with the police report came back to me, but she gave me her email, so I emailed her all the information. So she is so, aware of it now. So it came back to you because you had the wrong address? No, she was having her mail forwarded, forwarded to a place in Arizona, and that forward expired, and she's someplace else now. And so, so, so who's apparently, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Too. <laughs> apparently, uh, he's running the bar? We don't know. She did not say. Okay. Her address, yes. what address is listed on the application, her license, too, she'd have to update that. Right, I explained that to her. Okay. There, yeah. She did want paperwork to assign somebody, the new agent, um, until we get that paperwork in. I told her that she would still be responsible <coughs> for whatever happens there. Okay. okay, we got this other situation here. So she's she's apparently, well, she's technically she's still running it, mm -hmm. you know, but she's not around, so who is running it? Well, I guess define running. Yeah. You know, who's hiring? Who opens and closes the door and pays the bills? Uh, you know. Um, I, I don't want to. Do, I don't want to. Yeah, the just sit there and let it go until the end of the month. See, if there's a licensed bartender there. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, I say let. The, we're just going to hold these till uh, till next council meeting. Yeah, if you can contact her and say we we definitely need Hector in, and we need somebody else. Otherwise, we're gonna move to take away her license. Yeah, I think we need both of them in, right? Well, she can't come in until till Christmas. After Christmas, after Christmas will be. So you want to wait everything until no first. Perhaps you should make a special trip then since her license is kind of a big deal. Her license is in jeopardy. I think she needs to know that. I would say December. I think December sixteenth would be appropriate. If not, she can also, I guess, hire an attorney, hire an attorney or, or a representative. Or. So you need to get her off. Uh, you can talk to her, but I think we officially I get a letter off to her too, I guess. She would need official representation like an attorney. She couldn't just send, like, her sister who she wants to become the agent now. Not until a formal agent, I guess, has been changed and taken place. But she would still, be, she's okay. still required to come in. Okay. Yeah. I will send out a second letter to Hector by certified mail. Okay. And I will yes. contact Lindsay. He, he's the father, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And we'll do that. Is that okay with the committee? 
Yes. December sixteenth. Got it. Okay. Thirty-nine. I'm gonna go through again. Have we heard anything on that? Still on the tax lien list. I was talking to the county. They there was a default judgment entered. The, the court is just awaiting an order for the corporation counsel to be signed for the foreclosure. They have not made anything that's that I'm aware of. Did we send somebody in to take a license off the wall then, or what do we do? Well, what <laughs> we have the findings and recommendations on there. They've never been um, actually, I guess, approved. But what the um, committee would have to do is approve those tonight, take them to the council. And once they've been voted on and sent to Scardinas, then yes, then their health permit would be revoked and they would no longer be able to operate a bakery business there. Anything with food. Starting when? Whenever um, I, whenever Monica sends them the notice, it would probably be like two or three days from now. This is, the, I guess, I'm also saying this is multiple times where they have not appeared as well. So, mm -hmm. another thing. Do you want to wait till after the holidays? Well, <laughs> you hate to do this right before the holidays. Yeah. But it's. Uh, First January meeting. Do you want to send them out a letter saying they have to appear? Of course, what are they going to tell us? And I think that's well, why I, they're not appearing. Is it? They're not appearing. They haven't been appearing. They haven't been paying. But. And it's not a. And to me, it's not about them bringing an extra five hundred dollars in the register. This people might have holiday orders placed with them. And, you know, we want to be the, the Grinches. So, so you want to hold this off until after the? Yeah, let's the, the, just the hold first. it until our first January. Meeting. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And that's my motion. I move it. Well, we don't. Right. Have, we just, we're we're I would right. concur. Let's let's. Okay. The last, the and, last and, hold. And the do we send hold. them another appearance letter for the 16th? I, I think they just don't care. I think they know they're going to lose and they don't care. I don't think. Well, what does it cost us to send them an appearance letter? Type up a letter and send it to them, right? If you want, just by mail, or you want a yeah. certified letter? Yeah, just by mail. Yeah. yeah. If I receive anything different about the foreclosure, I'll let the committee know. Because if once if they once they lose control of the premises, they can't operate anyway. So. Yeah. And, and you're saying that, that'll happen this to year sometime? or to I'm, I'm hoping that's what they're going to be doing. This they All they do is send an order because the default judgment was entered on November 17th. So I'm wow. just checking. Uh, okay, and then uh, then we have uh, for personal property taxes. I see that we've got agreement and one paid in full. Uh, new owner on one. The new owner one, does that mean they paid or...? No, the old owner, it's a new Marv's Gold Coast Subs. It was Marv was one person. He was a sole proprietor. The new person is a corporation. I think they're related, but there's not really a way I can tie them in. So they didn't pay, but. And how about the other two? They're just. Cold Stone Creamery has not made any contact with the city at all. Um, they also have had garbage complaints, and I haven't had anything um, response from them on that as well, taken through municipal court. Do we call any of these people in front of us? I sent each of them letters. To come to appear. To appear tonight. So right. is anybody here from uh, Cold Stone Creamery or Sacred Skin? Sacred Skin. Sacred Skin did contact me, but he was not able to give me any early payment terms, and he never came in to sign anything. Okay, so let's. Just for our edification, who, who paid up? Uh, the Cat Network. It's on National Avenue. They paid in full agreement. It was with... Uh, for Tilly's restaurant and uh, Jets is it's being mailed and then uh, Sammy's and there's a new owner at the Gold Coast. Thank you. So but it, you're saying it's really just a different corporate they just incorporated at Gold Coast Subs? No. I think it was like a cousin who took over the business oh, okay. from Marvin. Yeah. I spoke to him on the phone and he seemed like he was up on what he was doing so and I couldn't pin any liability on him. Okay, so what, what, what we're going to do is just, just hold these, send out the letter to these people in and say that if they don't show up, we're going to revoke their license at the next meeting. Okay. But or, we still have to do someone's in Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Sure. But yes. we will be we we It'll be in jeopardy. Yes. Gotcha. Is that agreement with everyone? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, then we have a discussion uh, late fees for the renewal of license. I don't know if anybody saw this. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, golden chicken. Is that oh, yeah, golden also chicken. Being and we're 45. And 45 is always. No, golden no, chicken 44 was 44 was all those. 45 is separate, according to the agenda. So 45 was all of them. 46 is Our numbers are off. Oh. Okay, 45, so oh, seven, communication five, regarding. You're not even what I'm looking at. Oh, yeah, stand there. <laughs> right. Why are printing off Golden the chicken had municipal judgment. Okay, well, go. I don't have, have any. Mine right here. I don't have a folder on golden chicken. Oh. What was 45 that about? is all just your building, building inspection. It was. Nice. Oh, the electrical inspector. He's golden here. chicken's here. He's here. Yeah, yeah. golden chicken's here. Oh, yeah. The one guy. Did I accidentally <laughs> clip it together? Yeah. This is about electrical outlet permit or something? Yeah, it was a permit, and I had it done by Roman. So. There was a, there's a judgment entered to see if you have here in court. He has filed a motion to reopen, but it's not yet reopened. Yeah. What is the date scheduled, sir? Yeah. Um, Here's the this reopen is one What's the date for the seven. Okay, so I, I guess that I'd recommend that we send this to the end of January to see what happens. Oh, when I laid it there, I bet you. Okay. So you're going to get it reopened, and you're going to sell it up. And right, right. Okay. Uh, so we just want to hold this? Just hold it till the end of January. Yeah. Okay, I'll put it back in Do I come back here then or something? Or? Uh, well, if you pay it seven. all up and all that, and then no, you wouldn't need no. it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Depends how it goes in court. Okay. Oh. That's it then? I think so. Yeah. Okay. yeah thanks for coming down. All right. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, now, now we're discussing on the late fees. Do you want it to go in for everything? I'm allowed to be here according to the city attorney. No, no, no. no. I was saying if you, yeah, if you had, yeah. I mean, yeah, we're all done with. Yeah, we're just discussing whether. Uh, I, I like the recommendation of. Or did, did I, I do too, and, and honestly, since we, I think we've gotten over the hump of this new form to fill out. Everybody's had a year to do right, that, yeah. so yeah, that wouldn't be an excuse for oh, you you hammer us with this new 12-page form and a and a late fee. So, you know, I just. Uh, I can't see any reason why. Yeah. 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 So, and I, I, geez, here I thought they just called me that one year. <laughs> and they're calling 22 people for the license. But it's just, uh, I'm one, 28. Do you have anything to add on that? Uh, I, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for the late fee, it's just the amount. If you're interested in presenting oh. it, what you do. What, the, uh, what was the... I know some communities are charging $100. If you wanted to charge a $100 late fee after April 30th for all alcohol beverage retail licenses, or if you wanted to differentiate between Is the liquor and the, and the beer, if you wanted to maybe do 100 for the liquor and then 50 for a beer license, uh, 50 for a wine license as a late fee since their um, licenses are only a $100 fee to begin with. Or oh yeah, it, yeah based it on the application fee. fee. For, for all of them. Uh, I, I, I or, say, or whatever. I say base it on base it on the fee. Like, yeah. You know, um, yeah, that's probably more equitable. A hundred for the full tavern, yeah. and then fifty for the beer or wine only. How about the, and the class A liquor store? That that'd be it. Maybe a hundred again, or yeah, yeah right. that that's fine. Is if they have combination licenses, would that yeah, be both fees attached or just the one? No, like a tavern late fee, with, like a combination would be just a hundred, right? Yeah, like a liquor store with a combination of the, the Class A liquor and a Class A beer, then we could just look at a straight 100. Okay. And then if it would be a, a beer license and a wine license at a restaurant, then it would be 50 per. And 50 then they per. could be looking at $100 total. Okay. Now, how are they going to know about this? That there is a late fee. Yeah. Of the ordinance with a letter. Be prepared. Yeah. Okay. That, that's that's fair. You write something so. up. There we go. Okay. Uh. Do we miss somebody here? Elizabeth. Okay, what was that for? She's an adult orientated license. When I sent her the appearance letter, I thought she had called me. She did call me and said she wouldn't be able to make the appearance. Yeah, because I didn't think I was going to be able, because I have a second job, and my employer told me. So I, so I don't have a full So I we didn't put her on that. this agenda. She is on the council agenda. Yeah, because I'm honestly not going to be able to come in to the next meeting, because I already got. 
So Monica suggested she wait until recess. Okay. Well, I don't think any of us have looked at your background. I don't have a police report in front of me. Yeah, I didn't send out the yeah. information. Well, no. wait, that, that, that's, that's for... Super video. Temptation. Yeah. Well, yeah. not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Signs up. Not till you approve it yeah, tonight. Signs, signs up. up, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. And Mr. Phillips is here this evening, too, and he, uh, he's on for recess as well. Okay. I could make copies of her record. Record. Yeah. If you wanted to take it up at recess. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take it up at recess. Can you stick around, like, 40, well, maybe till 7.30 or... Maybe even late eight o'clock. We can then we can finish this Would up tonight. Would it be better if I came back at seven thirty? Well, we don't know for sure what time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be sometime after council seven. Meeting. The council meeting starts at seven, and it depends on how many things we take that we have, how long it takes us to take care of stuff before we come back in the committee. And we do have the public works committee before us. So. Okay. So. Oh right, well, yeah. I mean, that's fine. I, you know, then we can get it out of the way. Yeah. Then we can because we're not familiar with your background at all. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, thank, thank you. you. So we'll hold it up. So that was 28, right? We're going to take it up at recess. Yeah. Yes, okay. if you're looking at the council yeah, agenda. I yes, actually mm -hmm. am. Yeah. That's what numbers? 28. Can someone come in for a name change on that? Oh, sure. Okay. 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 <clears throat> oh, this was the. This is the I already changed it, so. Okay, this is all. Okay. Motion to adjourn. So, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. 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 Aye.